so estriol, we know that is a hormone that is only uh, present during when somebody is pregnant because it's produced by the placenta. And we know that most MS patients do very well during pregnancy, and there has been evidence of remyelination during pregnancy. So the trial is done with vaginal estriol is one cc at night uh, when they go to bed. And we were looking at different points. So we're looking at the improvement of the, their bladder questionnaire. So patients were given, handed a bladder questionnaire to see how frequent they were going to the restroom, how many UTIs, um, also a quality of life questionnaire. And then for uh, possible remyelination, we were doing visual load potentials, OCT, and also MRI. And this was done at baseline. And then three months and nine months after the being using this estriol once at night. And what we found was in regards to the bladder, there was a significant improvement. Uh, patients went from very frequent bladder issues to almost normal and significant improvement in their quality of life. But also when we're looking at the visual boat potential parameters, there was actually uh, benefits. So the patients were their own controls. So basically the velocity or the speed of the nerve um, showed improvement when at the nine months versus their baseline. Uh, same with OCT. In regards to MRI, most patients stayed stable. There were a few that had less T2 hyperintense lesions in the MRI. It was a pilot study, so we do need to do a larger one. And we're also looking at funding opportunities for this one. So there are some others looking into it as an oral uh, medication. The reason why we think vaginal delivery would be best is because it's more naturally absorbed. Um, oral has to go through the liver and through the GI, so that can diminish the amount overall of estriol in the system. Um, but there are some, as far as I know, we're the only ones using it in the uh, intravaginally. So the study we did was an adjunctive therapy. I don't think we are yet to the point to say that hormone therapy by itself would replace any disease modifying therapy. Um, I think we need more studies to be able to conclude if we are really finding real remyelination. Um, if we are, that would be great because this is kind of a cheap way. Now, how to answer for our male patients? Well, some have looked into maybe look, looking at to using patches in the skin with very low dosing, but that has been just a hypothesis. Um, as far as I know, I may be wrong, but I don't think anybody's right now doing that, but that has been hypothesized.